Hi guys, so now I am going to uh, the Spirit of Dubai in the Dubai Mall and I think it's located in the Fashion Avenue so there's like a very special entrance for it um, and I'm just going to walk towards it now and show you where it is Actually it gets even better, it's in this section over here which is called Perfumery and Co so it looks like there's a whole section just dedicated to um, niche perfumery I can smell the fragrances already like something really nice okay. I think it's yeah so this is the perfumery section of Dubai Mall the main mega salon the main yeah the main mega salon de parfums technically of Dubai um, yeah, like in Harrods, how they have the salmon de parfums, that's how it is here as well. This is obviously a lot bigger, so we've got Aqua de Parma over there, and then we've got so many just like dotted around. So I'm gonna go straight to the Spirit of Dubai and then restart my video from there. So, guys, I am at the Spirit of Dubai and I'm just gonna go through the first generation fragrances with you first. So this one over here is called Bahar and it's from the first generation. So that's how the fragrance bottle looks and that over there is the Bakur. So this one, what are the notes in this one? Yeah, this is lime, vanilla, patchouli, white musk. Okay. Yeah. This is the fresh one. Yeah, this I get, yeah. This is seller now. Yeah. In this uh, weather. weather yeah, area. yeah. It's yeah. quite a fresh scent, isn't it? Yeah. yeah that's it's really nice, it's not too over on the citrus. I think the vanilla kind of tones down citrus. But it's really thick actually in scent, it's really good quality. So Bahar guys is the fresh summer slash spring scent um, that you can wear in like hot weather. So that's one, that's for you, thank and you. This one, that's, that's the Bakur, yeah. And body lotion cream. Okay, so you've yeah, got a Bakur same, same. and a body lotion as well. Right, okay. And the next one we've got is called Rimmel. Yeah, so that's this how one has the bottom saffron, looks. Leather, Lupin, Agarut. Okay. Rimmel. Okay, yeah. can I just select it? Sorry, I forgot. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I definitely get the leather vibes from it, yeah. So I'm just going to go down. Yeah, this is a really nice leather fragrance. Like, if you've tried the Spirit of Dubai, you'll know that their blends are really, really good and they're so smooth. Literally ultra, ultra niche. Thank you. And then the next one we've got is called Turath. This one, you can smell it from here. Thank you. Also have leather, vanilla, patchouli, umber. Yeah, so this is quite a different leather. It's like a floral leather, so the leather isn't too strong as compared to the Rimmel. So this is really nice as well. This is quite versatile though, I think. Yeah, okay, that's nice. And then the next one we've got is called Abraj. Abraj, this is woody, perfume, half sandal, rose, bergamot, patchouli. Okay, so that's um, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. It's like a floral woody, but again, the quality is just absolutely amazing. I just realized I need to phone, hold the phone to me, otherwise, you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. This is really nice. Abraj is really, really nice. It's not, it's not like a manly scent. It's definitely unisex. And it's the beautiful um, woody floral. Sorry, just hold on to that. This one, the new one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the new one. Yeah. The right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And what are the notes in this? This is um, amber, uh, cashmere uh, with the. Orange. Okay. This floral uh, yeah. perfume. Yeah. Smell. Yeah, it's really nice. You can smell the amber in there as well. Yeah, amber. And the orange floral as well. Orange, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. 
That's actually really nice as well. A little bit spicy. I'm not. I'm not getting the spices at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's quite versatile as well. Actually, that's really nice. Yeah. And then the next one we've got over here is called this is the Maiden. Okay. Maiden, top leather, tobacco, sandal, lavender, and wood. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Can cool. Smell that. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh yeah yeah this is i feel like i've smelled this before but the quality of this is so 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 much richer and thicker this is really nice it's very much a leathery woody fragrance i can see why it's the best seller because like it smells very much middle eastern traditional And that's your best seller, you said, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is really nice as well. Very smooth. Thank you. And then, <coughs> yeah, tobacco notes as well. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, and but leather. yeah, but I think the leather is more prominent because yeah, like tobacco is very very light in this. It's not like a heavy tobacco scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the next and one the we've next got one? is oud. Oud. Yeah, the uh, this one, uh, pure natural Indian agar wood, and scents leather. Yeah. Okay. And this is the Indian oud. Okay, so this is Indian oud. Oh, sorry. Also have tobacco. Yeah, this is Indian oud, guys, with tobacco. Tobacco, leather, incense. Leather, incense. Yeah, you feel it's like a, not a darker scent, but... So, sorry, where were we? Um, oud, right, so... Yeah, oud is a very, it's not like a hard, harsh oudy smell, it's very smooth. But you can feel like the, the leather notes as well, the woody notes in this. This is probably one of the most smoothest ouds I've seen um, that isn't too strong and probably a lot of people will like this. Um, even if you don't like oud scents, usually this is really nice. Obviously, it's expensive to start off with, but it's actually really, really nice. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's a very smooth oud, not too strong. Definitely not animalic or anything like that. It's very, very smooth. Um, so the next one we've got is... Okay. 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 So can I just smell that well, please? Oh, this is... Wow. Is this a bestseller as well? So this one, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, I'm to that. Yeah. This is really nice. This is like a rosy floral scent with oud as well. You said. Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. This is like the smoothest rose oud that you'll probably come across. Wow. This this is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's a rosy scent. Sorry. And then the last one we've got is called. Mm -hmm. Majalis. Right, okay, so in this one you've got cardamom, rose, Arabic coffee, yeah, and, yeah, amber. and amber as well. So can I just smell that one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel the spices in there, but it doesn't. The spirit of Dubai for me is like ultra, ultra niche because even though they've got spices and things like that, they don't come across too spicy or too harsh. Yeah, they're very, very smooth. Every single one I've tried is absolutely so smooth. Yeah. Yeah, so this guy's is like a spicy scent, but it's not overly spicy. As I said, again, as the other fragrances, is very, very smooth. So if you like spicy fragrances, with a bit of rose then this is one that you should try thank you so guys the actual um flagship store of the spirit of dubai is located inside the mall in jumeirah the one that i'm at now is just a kiosk um in the perfumery section which is located in fashion avenue in the dubai mall so that's quite a handful to say but yeah that's exactly where it is so next i wanted to try the second generation of fragrances so these are the second generations aren't they so I've obviously spoken about these before, I've tried Najesi before as well and I've tried Dura, I've tried Baz, I've tried Abjar and 
all of them are absolutely fantastic and so so smooth can i just um try them again please if that's okay do you have them on a blotter or here yeah? uh i've tried dura You've i've tried, tried yeah i've tried dura i've tried najesi i've tried Ab abjar i've tried baz i think there's three yeah that i haven't tried two or three Thank you. So this one is Diwan, isn't it? Yeah, this one. And what are the notes in this? They're Indian, agar, also patchouli, lo'luban, um, incense. Wow, this, yeah. Yeah, Coffee. I can feel, yeah. Diwan. Yeah, this is really nice as well. <coughs> and they're Indian agar So it's got Indian agar wood in there. And the it's like incense lo'luban. Yeah. Let me just zoom into it. This is really nice. This like, just like one spray of this feels like it lasts for days. And this is the second generation. So, okay, so that's one. And then another one I haven't tried is Heba. Heba yeah. yeah. It's really this is nice. Also in, uh, Indian and wood. Okay. And patchouli, rose, amber. Hey, okay, but yeah, this is this is really nice. It's not too, it's thick in quality, but it's not too strong. Yeah, this feels like it lasts for days, man. Seriously, it's amazing. That's really, really nice. That one's Heba, and then I think Amal, yeah, Amal is the one I haven't tried. Yeah. These are, yeah, yeah, these, the, so the second generation fragrances are very complex fragrances. So you can't say from the first smell, um, you can't, you won't be able to tell what you're smelling, but you'll just know that it's something so, so beautiful and something ultra niche. So this last one is, okay, yeah, this is slightly different to the other two that I smell but it's still equally really really nice and as I said when you smell it you can't you can't explain what's going on because it's so complex but it's so so smooth seriously wow beautiful so in my previous videos I've obviously talked about Najesi and um, Abjar and Dura and Baz as well and you all know my favorite is Najesi, then my second favorite is Abjar, and then my third favorite is Baz. Um, so if you are in Dubai, then definitely check out the Spirit of Dubai, which is in the Dubai Mall, or you can check out the flagship store, which is located in the mall in Jumeirah, right? Yeah, the mall. Atlantis. The mall. And the Atlantis and as well. Yeah, we Atlantis yeah that just Dubai, opened. Mall, okay. Mall. Right, so okay. Okay, so that's, yeah, so they're located in quite a few places in Dubai. Obviously, you can check it on Google as well. And if you are in London, then definitely go to Harrods Salon de Parfums to the um, Roger Dove Perfumery and check out the fragrances there. So in London, though, they don't have the first generation fragrances. They've only got the second generation, but definitely worth, yeah, not, no, yeah, last time we went, they didn't have any, actually. They sold out on all of them. So last time I went to Harrods, um, which was about two weeks ago, they had sold out on all of... This. No, those are all sold out. No, but normally they have this. They yeah, have this. and that, yeah, and they have Dura as well, yeah. So that's what they usually have in Harrods. Um, but when I went two weeks ago, they were all sold out. So if you are in Harrods, it's definitely worth checking up on the sixth floor. Otherwise, definitely come to Dubai and check out the Spirit of Dubai fragrances, guy. Absolutely smooth and definitely ultra, ultra lady niche. Lady, yeah. yeah, and um, <laughs> what's your name? Sorry. Raha and Raha. yes so if you come to the Dubai mall yeah. then you can check out the lovely lady whose name is Raha who has been very helpful today so thank you and um, just one final question are all of those gift sets yeah this okay is so around there okay yeah. sorry I'll go this way okay. yeah so they do gift sets as well this is the royal gift set. that's a royal gift set the first one how much is that 50 ml 5,525 okay so 
you've got the first generation royal gift set which is 5525 dirhams and you've got 50 sorry you've got 550 ml yeah five. okay and then this so with one, sorry with this one, one yeah. could you mix and match which one you wanted yeah you can okay now. before no but uh, now you, now can, you can mix, mix and match yeah. okay so you can mix and match which five fragrances you want and then this one is 3,555. Yeah, so this is actually quite interesting because you've got oil version of the perfume as well. So you've got the spray version, you've got the oil version as well. So you know the oil version, can they buy that separately? Or does it only come as part of the gift set? Gift set. This one and you can uh, buy it from this. So you can buy it yeah, separate as well, okay, yeah. Oh, the oil, the oils. Um, now we don't have that before. Okay. We have the oil, yeah. Okay, so the oils you can't buy separately, but you can buy, buy it as part of the gift set, yeah. But you know the gift sets as well, I think I've seen on your website, you've got them in all of, most of them, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, before we have all yeah. Them, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's, all the yeah. Version. Okay. And this one? Okay. No oil for Fahama, only perfume 100 ml and body lotion mm -hmm. and incense. It's come with this crystal burner. Wow, for, okay. Uh, food incense. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And how much is that? 3995. Three, yeah, okay. 3995. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so guys, they've got really nice ultra luxury, ultra royalty uh, gift sets as well, you know, if you ever want to treat someone. Um, but as I said, definitely just come down to the Dubai Mall or any of the um, Spirit of Dubai stores in Dubai or in London and just try out the fragrances because they definitely are worth trying. Um, I love their fragrances. It's a shame I don't have any in my collection, but you know, I would definitely sure. recommend that you try it and hopefully soon one day I will have one of the fragrances in my collection. So thank you for watching today's video guys and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.